Hello there. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Fly Gears and Beer. I always, I always sometimes I say that wrong. That's right. Fly Gear and Beers. And today we are drinking an IPA from Ballard. And I'm super excited about this one because it ha it's called Super Crush from Rubens Brewery, Brewery. And they are from Ballard, Washington. And I don't know, it just looked really good. I loved kind of the conversation that they were having about the beer. So let's try this frothy IPA. It's a hazy IPA and see what we think. I approve. Wow, that's actually really good. Good stuff. So today we're going to talk about not something that's necessarily new to fly fishing. Sorry, this is so good. I got to take another sip. Um, not necessarily new to fly fishing, but it's, they've got some new, uh, series of boots out and it's new to me because I'm pretty excited to unbox with you my new pair of wading boots. Now I've owned a ton of different wading boots from Hodgman to I had a pair of Sims, but I've had corkers now for the past five years. And I have to tell you, corkers have earned my trust over five years of successful use. And I'm talking to uh, about them today because I just, I believe in these boots. They've done great things for me, traction wise. They have never let me down. Now there is a misconception out there that the soles could fall off. I have to tell you, after five years of use, I've had it happen one time and it was because of my fault. I did not secure the little rubber strap in the back and I stepped in some mud and pulled it out. But that was 100% on me. I've never had these things fail in any real world scenario where I put them on myself and put them on correctly. So that is a, uh, a big thing as I almost trip and fall. That is something I want to clear up, right? That misconception that they fall off. But if you do own cokers, take the time to make sure they're fully clipped in place and the little back strap is fully in place and you're never going to have a problem. So they have come out with a brand new wading boot and it's called the River Ops. Now, I did not choose that particular boot. My previous boots were the buckskins with laces. I now have the dark horse with the boa little dial that makes it so much easier to take these on and off because once a shoelace gets wet, it's not easy to manage, right? It, they're not easy to take off a boot. So this little boa dial, and it's a wire that wraps around the whole boot, tightens it up with a couple of cranks, and with a couple of cranks in the other direction, it's now loose and really easy to take off. Sorry about that. It's really easy and loose to take off your shoe or your boot. So I'm super stoked about the fact that I've just got something easier, right? As we get a little older, I'm not that old yet, but as we get older, we just want things to be a little easier. And this new BOA system, super easy. But if you take a look on Corker's website, now they've been around 60 years. That's a long time they have got some really cool stuff on, on their website. I mean, just a lot of different options. But I chose the Dark Horse because I wanted the ankle support, but I also wanted something easy, the BOA, right? And I wanted something that did give me enough flexibility because I do hike up and down creeks often. The River Ops, from what I understand, is, is really stiff, right? It's, uh, it is for some big time type of hiking situations. But if you want something a little more flexible, it's kind of in between the buckskin, the dark horse that I chose, and the river op. So that's why I went with uh, the dark horse because I just want a little bit extra flexibility when I'm stepping over logs or, you know, rock climbing, that kind of thing when I'm on the river. So that's why I chose that particular one. Now, the really cool thing, if you're not familiar with corkers, the super cool thing about corkers is that you can change the soles, right? They have so many different options. If you look on their website, they have options for pure felt, they have options for rubber, and they have options for really some severe grip, right? I chose the felt with spikes because it's a great combination of both. So if you feel that these wading boots might be right for you, I'll leave a link down in the description and you can pick one up for yourself. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Happy Friday for this episode of Fly Gears and Beers. I appreciate it. Mm. Good stuff. And if uh, if you're new to the series, check out the playlist right here. 
we review a lot of things that are either new in fly fishing or might be new to me or we just talk shop so check out some of the other fly gears and beers when you have a chance all right everybody till the next time fish on